Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Hey, I'm Robin the Energy Aquatel to see, and we're playing some more Monster Hunter World. Hey, very important. It's a poogie. Yeah, we petted the poogie. So this is actually ours. This is our creature. Ooh, thank you for the redemption. And we can eventually give him different outfits. But we gotta name him something, right? We can't just like sit there and call him Poogie. So I wanna avoid bacon. I, I wanna avoid food puns. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Turley. Girls before swine. We can change his name later. It's fine. But Piggy Smalls is very good. Also, you can pick him up and he'll go running around looking for stuff. Second, I thought you said you were naming them Turlet. I mean, I would do it. Oh, thank you, buddy. You gave me a treat. All right. So, today we're going to be going after the Anjanan. He's a big bad boy. He's pretty rough. He's kind of the first wall for this game, if you don't count Toby Kadachi. Um... He's large, he's nasty, he shoots fire, and he's got a weird nose. Nothing wrong with that, but you're going to know what I mean when I get there. You're going after the Anjajack? The Anjajack. The Endernap. Pet pigs are pretty dog-like, to be honest. Yes. Okay, let's pick up the encroaching Angina. Are we heading out? I kind I still like the system of like one um, assigned quest per day. So that's a really good pace, I think. The Angina. The Angina. There you go, Monty. Some scratches. How are y'all doing today? The Andrew deck. That's pretty good, though. I myself am doing pretty well. Hey, guess who got vaccinated? It's me. Just like I sell people to. I'm also hydrated. And I've been masking up. I've been doing all the things. I will not be made a hypocrite of today. Okay, so. We don't know where the Anjanath is yet. Vax to the max. That's right. I got my flu vaccine and my COVID vaccine. Uh, this is like my third one. I'm finally like caught up. I put it off because I wasn't getting out much at all. Um, but now that I'm getting out more, I decided like, you know what? Priority time. Boom. We're doing it. Um, didn't want to delay on that for too long. Um, but because I got them both in the same arm, my arm hurts like hell. <laughs> Would not recommend it. It's not the best thing to do, but you know what? I did it. And I didn't get like blue-like symptoms. I'm just a little achy. A little rough. A little, a little tired. That's it. Which honestly... For all the things I could be feeling, not bad. I did a okay. Grew up in a neighborhood that one or two that had one or two pot-bellied pigs. You didn't see them much uh, because they don't typically socialize well. But the one-on-one -on -one between pig and owner is a good bond. Ooh, hell yeah! Doing good. Had kind of a weird swingy Thursday. Very unfortunate. Um, well, did I miss one? Now, 
I did not miss one. Um, going from yay to mail up, but I am doing a bunch of job interviews. Oh, hell yeah. Wishing you the best of luck, knocking on wood presently. Although, it's, I think, a polymer, so it's not like real wood, so I'm going to make sure. I, You know what? For how much I hold true to that superstition, I really do just need a nice block of cedar. Just to have. I don't have a lot of superstition, but that one is a big one for me. One more shot and your arm will sprout like a giant sword like Krauser. I mean, it's kind of just as painful as that, really. I'm being very brave. Here he is. The T-Rex with the feather boa. TV knows exactly what to do, huh? I, I'm not used to making a created character who's, like, competent. The dog vomit deserves competency, you know? Ah, oh, man! Shit! Knock on wood is a cute one. Um, and there are others I pay attention to, but for the most part, that's the big one. All right. Let's go for a fight. Ow. Okay. So, Engineath, the reason why he's kind of the first real wall is because he hits like a truck. We've been using on... Uh, we've been using armor spheres pretty regularly, so we're pretty good. But you always got to watch out. Fights can go south very quickly in Monster Hunter, especially if you're not, like, as prepared as you could be. But we have good fire resistance, which is great because Anjanath does freeze fire. The reason why he's the first wall is look at him, pretty much. Like, this is, this is the guy that really makes you go, oh, Monster Hunter. Hell yeah. You need to load the slinger with some ammo. Uh, oh, I forgot the button for that. Okay. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, rage mode. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna stand to the side. Don't step on cracks, I also do. But I also have another thing that's, like, more tied to my OCD than any superstition. It's like, don't step on cracks and do everything in fours. Or multiple fours, where I'm walking on pavement, where, or I'm walking on sidewalks, where, oh god, I have to step a certain number of times in a certain order, in a certain pattern, in order to not feel weird on each cement slat. It's probably one of my more annoying, like, quirks. I already have, like, a numbers thing. See, there we go. So, we took the hit. What does that mean? It mostly means that our rewards are lessened a little bit. But we get two more chances. That's called being carded. Not carded like you're at a bar and you forgot your license. But carded as in you just got your ass taken out in a shopping cart. And dropped off at the nearest base camp. This is where the game gets really fun for, like, people who stream, people who, you know, have other obligations that they're doing while they're playing. It ain't easy. What if we hunted the monsters in this world? Um, so that's billionaires. The most dangerous game, man. The most dangerous game. A man who can buy politicians. Now also when we die, we lose out on our cooking benefits. 
So we're not going to be as sturdy as we were. We still do good damage. So what that means is we can kind of take our time, get our hits in, and make sure we avoid any major attack. So, kid, you can only step twice on every sidewalk tile and stuff. Yeah. If I can't step four times on a tile, I will try to step on two to four tiles in multiples of four, whatever works. It kind of sucks, but, you know, it's fine. Okay, are you out of rage mode? I don't think you are. Oh, we are doing that. Oh, nope. Not doing that. Demon mode. Most dangerous game. Those eBay exec weirdos who sent live bugs to an online newsletter they didn't like. Oh, God. Made a New Year's resolution to get more into magic, and it's honestly been really fun figuring out the balance between my rejection of those woo-woo and the synchronicity of most woo-woo and the synchronicity of a couple of things with accepted science. Yeah, you're getting into tarot. Um, Lark did a reading for me. It's really nice. And uh, I'm, gonna be your I I'm gonna be their guinea pig as uh, often as I can be, because even though like I don't personally buy into the effects of tarot, I am fascinated by it because sometimes they really do just kind of help. You know what? I want to make a case for Tarot here in a second. Let me catch up with the chat. First, I thought you wanted to get into Magic as a Magic Gathering. I fucking wish. Um, just play the online game. Just, just play online. It's fine. In fact, look, if you want to get into Magic, we can play like one of the official... Uh, official online card games. It'd be fun. Well, it would also mean we wouldn't necessarily have to pay, because that is owned by Wizards of the Coast, and uh, I don't want to give them money right now. You're allowed to believe in things whether they're real or not true, uh, or silly or not, or can be proven or not, like flavors being masculine or feminine. It's a thing in Japan. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a thing here too, but... Like... I guess the dynamics are a little different. But yeah, tarot is really interesting. I'll, I'm gonna make my case for it as a non-believer who still like is fascinated by it. You get as much out of tarot as you put in. Um, what's really fun about tarot is that the way it frames questions, requests, um, the way it frames its answers, the way it frames its cards, allows you to kind of take a look at your own life in kind of a unique way. It does a really good job of helping point out when, hey, maybe you're missing something that like you want to be more mindful of. It asks you questions you might not ask yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not really there to predict the future, but it does kind of give you a sense of like, where am I at in life in relation to this question? Which is, like, for me, I like I asked the question, and there was a lot of stuff about, like, you got a lot on your plate. Yeah. Um, and you're also going through, like, the transition and everything. But, uh, you got this boo, is basically the conclusion. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't neglect the things that are important to you. Like, those are just good life lessons. Hello, AJ. Hello, Celestial. See, Celestial making sure. Um, working on accepting that for myself as well. Oof. I have a lot of the same superstitions y'all have been talking about, and I've been learning not to judge myself too much for it. I mean, I am around very superstitious people all my life. Um, hi, V. No! Oh, he just breathed fire right on my ass. Maybe this is going to be a weird day where we don't get much done. 
I got a grand. Let's see. I think. Canteen. Yes. Our mini canteen here serves food that will give you a boost. For okay. The in which case, the fire is what really messed us up. So let's go with elemental resist up. Get a veggie plate. And to answer your question, Celestial, I'm doing pretty well. A little achy after a vaccine. But uh, otherwise, good. How are you? Last night, we had a really great psychological discussion because a card asked the question. It has nothing to do with predicting the future and everything to do with introspection. Yeah, and that's kind of why I like it. Um, I very much prefer, like, sitting there going, like, okay, what is going on in my life? What am I missing? What am I losing out on? Hey, hey, do I have some blind spots? And the thing is, I'm self-aware enough that that part of tarot works really well on me. So it's like, it's kind of a good time. It works out. And I'm always baffled by that. Yeah. I'm fully caught up on everything. I have no present need. Oh, you know what? We're not quite there yet, but we need to make sure. Yeah, there we go. No! What? Where are you going? No! I just got here! You foul mouth bastard. Oh. Also, if you get red or read for another person, it's just a good chance to, like, deep talk with your friend. Yeah. I've definitely known people who tried to weaponize it in order to facilitate their own biases and prejudices. Trying to treat it as, like, this super spiritual fortune-telling sort of thing that makes you go, oh, yeah, this is definitely going to happen if you don't do exactly what I say. Which, again, if you... You get out of it what you bring into it. And some people will bring some nastiness into it. Which is what kind of kept me from enjoying Tarot for a while. Because, like, the first reading I was ever involved in, I wasn't there. I wasn't actually a part of things. Um... It was enough for somebody to accuse me of trying to get people pregnant and trying to hurt people and all sorts of stuff, which is like, they already didn't like me. So it's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But also like, damn, that's what you're going to tarot for? So you can find new and interesting ways to shit on people. And there are people like that. And that's fine, if, even if it's like frustrating. And of course, that tarot reading never came through. It, it never, like, manifested into anything. So if you're self-aware, if you know, if you got a good head on your shoulders, tarot is really fun. If you're kind of a shit, you're going to get a shit reading. <laughs> a reading should be like, how you doing, bud? Yeah, basically. Okay, we need to be careful because if we get another KO, we're out. We fail the mission and we got to do stuff again. Or just take the opportunity to grind. Honestly, if I got a bunch of armor spears and um, got the bear off here, I'd be pretty good. But since we haven't done that, we're going to do this instead. Uh, 
Okay. He's getting upset. That's good. Read a, pre read a pretty decent ghost story play last night, which was pretty neat. Hell yeah. I respect tarot more than stuff like horoscopes, purely because you can actually get like a bad, sh like bad shit in a reading. I don't trust any divination method where only vaguely good things can happen. Oh, so you like, you prefer like, you want a more pragmatist approach. You want something that feels a little bit more true to your own life. Something that like helps you guide you through, through the tough times. Which makes damn good sense. I love tarot. Hi, Crow. I love tarot. I don't read for real people anymore because I'm intensely paranoid and guilty about potentially giving bad advice, but I love doing readings for folks in D&D or roleplay characters. Ooh, there is a market for that. Oh, hey. You know what? Ow. Okay, first. I feel like it might be fun capturing this too. Come on, bud. Now we're gonna drop a couple of these and boom. Da, 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 da. Now that the base is secure, Hell yeah. focus our attention towards capturing Zora Magdaros. I actually made my own tarot deck back in school. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds dope. The art is very, very old, but it means they are steeped in my juju. Yeah, that's the good stuff, though. Okay, so we did our assigned mission, and we got it technically first try. We did card a couple of times. But also, the fact that we didn't completely KO. Pretty great. And new upgrade level available for armor. So, hell yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, Lark recently got in the mail a... I don't remember all the artists involved. There's two. One of them is Koei Kun, who did a deck and placemat, which is pretty cool. It's a really nice people. deck. We have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete, and I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Anjanath despite being new here. That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magdaros. Well done. When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at daybreak. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time, then. All right. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier. Initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. However, there is a chance it will break through. If so, we'll initiate the mounting phase of the operation. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Make sure you have right. as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. So Affirmative, sir. This is a really interesting mission. We're not going to do it today, but it's a very different vibe. Um, something that I think maybe started with four is with each Monster Hunter, they provide some new gameplay mechanic or some new type of mission where it's not really about... It's not really all about hitting monsters with your own weapon. Sometimes it's about using ballista and cannons and like grapple guns and all sorts of stuff. Technicians, make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research on site. Don't worry, Commando. Everything will be in order. Keep your ears open during the operation. 
I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. All right. Hey, Sapphire Star, light your way. Dismissed. Whoa. Okay, so we got a mission. It's to fight the Zora Magdaros. Wow. Now. The big moment is finally here. I'm shaking up a storm here. Catch up with the chat you? real quick. Um, let's see. There are definitely learning resources that tell things purely positively or focus so much on things you don't need, like astral projection, but there's enough talk around that loves to go into a more pragmatic approach. It's been fascinating seeing the secular tarot fandom get talking. That's what really got me into it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um... <laughs> I saw the notification, got very confused. You were live in the afternoon until I rem remembered my schedule is a lie and I'm late shift again and this is a normal time. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Koei Kun's Catacombs and Tarot. It was a Keek Storter. Thought their wife, Jai Custis, was also involved, but she's the entire special thing. Ooh. Okay, so Crow made uh, their own Tarot deck and it's adorable i love this i think this is a great little thing I, I i adore this no joke it is so good hello rose good to see ya how you doing i hope well actually got a tarot deck of cards with Gua's art, uh, with his art book. It's pretty cool, even if it's just reused art. Sometimes that's all you need. Alright, so, we're gonna pop upstairs. Today was a fuzzy-ass brain day, but pretty good. You know what? I'll take it. All right, we're running low on Trank Bomb, which is fine. I would love more. In fact, we can get two. <laughs> we can get two. All right, let's pop into here. Print on demand, so yeah, ooh. Yes. Yes, please, please provide a link to that because Rose has a great Pixel base uh, set. Yes, thank you. That's all I wanted. Okay, so let me pop this open so we can look at it. We gotta look at it, right? Let me get it loaded up. All right, here we go. So if you want this? Print on demand. The tiny arcade Arcanum Tarot. It's not a bad price. It's like, it's really cool. Like the art, the pixel work is just really good. Hey, it's five star reviewed. Um, other sets here and there, but like, yeah, get on it, please. Back to work again, but here is something to remember us by. Is it? Is it? It's been so long. It's been so long. It is. It is. It's Jack. Hello, Jack. You're a handsome boy. I hope you're doing well. Ooh, and the assets are Creative Commons. Hell yeah. I always love that. That's always good. Okay, so we don't have the ability to upgrade our weapons yet, but we can take a look at some of our other gear. Engine that gear, which is pretty nice. And the butterfly set. I don't remember exactly what this one requires, but looks like it's just finding materials out in the wild. Not a bad set. Let's see. Now, our bone armor is technically really low. So it would actually behoove us to uh, get some better gear. 
So the butterfly set is pretty good, but we need more places to get materials. We don't have that yet. But if we can get up to 100, we should be better off. Now, having said that, we also just do really well with getting the basic Anjana sets. So let's see how this looks. You know what? That fits pretty well. Famously wrote the horoscopes in my high school newspaper for a couple of years. Ooh. I made them up and told people when I inevitably got people like, how are you so right every month? <laughs> wow. That is really good. I like that. Okay, let's see. I got pendants now. Do I want to? I want that. Yes. Oh, I got a little guy. Oh, okay. That's great. So let's uh, check this out and let's dump some armor spheres into it. Why not? You know what? Even better. Hmm, how many levels does that do? Well, all the same, we got a little buff. All right, let's pick up a new quest. I think we need to finally capture that bear up properly. We tried that last time and we failed because I did not pay attention and I flatlined them before we had a chance to capture. Got a shield for Rose's Arcade Arcanum deck. I got to be around while she was making it. It was such a delight. Um, it's the Rider Weight deck's art as a base. Uh, shrunk down to its most basic pixel depiction and Rose worked so hard on hand designing each card to break down to its most basic depiction while still being entirely readable. I've always been so impressed by this deck and everyone should get it. Yes. Agree. Full agree. There's the Yelp review. Go buy it. I will shill for my friend. God damn it. Oh my gosh, Pard! Can you believe it? It's finally happening. Oh, we chased it across the sea, got our ship wrecked by it, hunted all over the new world looking for it, and now our strange relationship with Zora Magdaros is about to reach a new plateau. We're going to capture it. Say it with me. Capture an elder dragon. Oh, yeah. I tell you, when my grandfather boarded that ship and came here with the first, he said he was ready to complete his mission here in a new world, or die trying. He'd found his sapphire star to follow, like in that story. And I always wondered what was going through his head as he crossed the sea. Zora Magros, too. Do you think old Magma Brains even understands why it's here? Or is it just compelled? Sorry, <laughs> that was a lot of tangents I went off on there. <laughs> it, hey, I just realized, you know, you still haven't told me why you came to the New World. I bet you're on the run. On the run from a deadly group of meddling assassins. That's it, isn't it? Nothing can stop us. Well, anyway, uh, the base's defenses are solid. All that's left is to get this operation done. You ready? So, again, we're not doing that yet. But we do have this. And if we luck out, we might be able to get another mission under our belt. Hell yeah. Okay, so I want to talk about a game I've been playing that is weirdly good. I'm not saying you should go buy it. But I am saying if you like the vibes what I'm talking about, wait for it on sale. Check it out. It's pretty neat. I've been playing uh, Disney's Illusion Island. It's that like new Mickey Mouse um, Metroidvania. It has like 2D art. Um, where you can play as like four different characters like Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy. And you know what? Oh, from the pharmacy? Uh, band aids with Spider Man on them. If you touch, thanks. So, <laughs> so it's a surprisingly solid little game it's 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 definitely made more for like kids and parents who want to get their kids into like 
larger scale metroidvanias and stuff so it's not it like as a singular adult you might be let down by the fact that it doesn't really have combat it's all about locomotion it's all about like kind of the vibe of moving around the space what makes that really cool is it feels good it feels good to play it feels good to interact with um it's just surprisingly fun like i would if i had a kid if i had some younger folks i was playing games with i would bust that ga game out in a heartbeat the map is huge it's like it's got some really fun clever writing that's very silly very on par with like those modern mickey cartoons where they go with the uh old school black and white style but in a more contemporary visual approach which are very good by the way i don't say this about most disney things i'm very disillusioned but i'm not disillusioned by illusion i or those particular shorts. They're a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, it's a good time. It might be a little boring because of the lack of combat and because, like, there's not... Like, they have you running all over the place. And there are, like, sloggy periods, but honestly, the game is fun to play on a fundamental level. Even if they don't always give you everything you want to do. It's a good time. It's just got some very smart, like, visual and mechanical design that I was very surprised by. It reminded me a lot of Rayman Legends and Origins when I played it. Like a pared-down version of it. Good time. Anyway. Not, not telling people to buy it. Just, if you happen to cross a copy and you have younger people you like to play with, or you're just you know, a Disney adult. I might get a kick out of it. It's one of the better Disney games to come out in a while. Ow. You bastard. Okay. Let's slice and dice. There we go. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm also about to gear up to play Dragon Quest Monsters on the side. Uh, the new one. I, Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince just came out on the Switch. And I really like the demo, and I'm now kind of gearing myself to actually sit and play through it. Because I need a good little game to play now that I have mastered the basics of the Rubik's Cube, and I need more stuff to do. Well, recommending game. Did you know you can get Like a Dragon 7 with all its DLC for 14 bucks over at GOG, DRM free for the next 12 hours? Ooh, as of this recording, you should absolutely hop on that. It's a great game. If you don't need any prior knowledge about the series, so it helps. Uh, you can go in blind. It's a lot of fun. And that DLC unlocks some really cool jobs and costumes. And 14 bucks is nothing to sniff at. That game takes about 100 hours to play, and it surprisingly goes buttery smooth. I mean, it goes to 100 hours for me because I do the arena. But outside of that, like, you know, 80, 90 hours for a really good modern-day RPG. with some real good goofball humor and some of the best drama. Like legitimately, just some incredibly good emotional storytelling. God, I still need to play the Infinite Wealth demo um, on Lex Drag Gaiden. I think I should do that soon. Unironically, you will laugh, you will cry. Yeah, there's one moment that got me even harder the second time around near the end of the game. Just 
some of these people are so good at their performances and the animations are so solid. They, they just, they just sell something. Sell something beautiful. But I'm always gonna push like a dragon on people. Always. One of those fun series where like, even at its worst, it's still damn good. Which once we're done with Okami, once we're done with like a couple of smaller games, we're playing Yakuza 3. The worst one of them. And I love it. <laughs> hey bud. Okay. We need to get him down a little bit further, not too much. Oh, hell yeah. The worst game with the best character. Yeah. Okay. He's feeling very spicy. And... Oh. He's also just refusing to really play ball here. The second this one character shows up, I will not be able to shut up about it. Yeah. Soon-ish. We got Primoria. We got Okami. Um, and then maybe another smaller game, like a detective game. Or a graphical adventure game or something. And then we're playing Yakuza 3. There's been a part of me that wants to, like, increase my output just so I can get through some of these games faster. But, oh my god. I can do it. Oh, you know what? If, uh... I think I have a way of justifying doing more. Is it the Hobbit Snake Boy? Yeah. All rhythm game you have to spin off called Micah Dragon. Yeah, that's really good. You did a good job there. Okay, he's raged. So we have to think about our choices here. We need to get to a point where we can lay the trap, which is not here. Dang it. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, get up. Kind of lucked out a little bit. There we go. Rikia, my good boy. Oh, yeah. Rikia is so good. Around cactus. Yoink. Love me a video guy. All right, let's see if we can get anything else under our under the hood. Or I, what an out? What saying am I trying to go with here? Let's see if we can clean up our plate a little bit more. Hello. Ah, Hunter, must thank you for capturing the barrel. This is a little thank you from the go-getters. I insist you have it. 600 points! What a point, you may ask? Don't even worry about it. Alright, with the bear off done, I think what we can do now is do one more Ninja Nap quest. Or. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's see. I'm gonna make a goal for myself, and we're going to start that process today. We're not gonna watch all of it, but I'm gonna play a little off screen. Under your belt, thank you. That's the phrase I was looking for. Why was I not able to think of that? You know what? It doesn't matter. Chad has my back. If no one else got me, I know Chad got me. You know who else is so good? You at video games. I am very good at video games. And I'm very sexy, handsome, and cool, too. 
All of these things are true. Because I'm trying not to think Time below the belt. I never ground. punch below the belt. So yes. Yes. Okay, so let's look at the overall defense. Um, honestly, Anjanath seems to be our best bet for now, apart from like the Orion stuff, but that requires Monster Bone Pluses. That's high rank material. We're not going to get that. So what we're instead going to do is we're going to go after another Anjanath. It'd be so nice if we fight it twice. Punching below the belt is where the best low-hanging fruit is. You're not wrong. <laughs> that is indeed very accurate. Okay, let's see if we have another investigation. I did say it. Um, well, it's not really something you do, quote-unquote. It's uh, something you get. Aw. Kind of hoping there'll be more, but no, no, not even a little bit. Okay. We can always. Mm. We can always just do an expedition, which works. Um, in which case, let's go ahead and get our elemental resist up. Let's get her capturing gear. Hell yeah. And we are going to open up the world map and move to the ancient forest. Let's see. Oh, doesn't look like it's available right now. The fun thing about expedition. Is that you never know what you're going to get. If you hang out long enough, you'll find a lot of things. Let's see. Investigation. Ephiroth event. Maybe there's an early Anjanath fight. <gasps> Two Anjanaths! Oh, that's going to be nasty, actually. Let's see. Anything else? No, not yet. So we'll just redo that one. One hell of a sinus infection. Yes. The queer all baritone acapella group all about chilling. The low hanging fruits. Wish I had a soundboard of the price is right, like failure sound. But what you did was very good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. And also, how dare you? <laughs> okay. So, we're just fighting Anjanath again. We got a little bit more defense, which is good. Um, of course, the more we fight him, the better our chances of getting all the materials we need. This is where we get into, like, what... Monster Hunter is all about. It's not really all about just combat. It's about the gameplay loop. The gameplay loop for Monster Hunter really is just you go around fighting monsters, getting pots, building up so that you can eventually fight stronger monsters who have even better parts until you get to the point where you are so powerful that no monster can stop you. It is such a simple progression that Monster Hunter kind of nailed very early on. Earlier games required more materials for everything, required um, like a little bit more uh, intuition with how the controls work because they were a little bit stodgy. I'm not afraid to say. A little bit weird to control. They have Baja Blast at the pharmacy now. Get me three? I, I'm supposed to be a gamer and I don't have any Baja Blast. I don't think I've ever had a Baja Blast. If you could get me three so I can be a gamer. 
I would really appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Where's my large feather boa boy? You need the game of fuel. But I do. Is the thing. Time to take it to the next level. Gotta get that G fuel. Okay. Boop. I want that blah, that Baha blasted. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a better read of that. I want that Baha blasted. There we go. Thank you. Just clip that and extract the audio for your cell phone. Get that ringtone. It'll be great. Oh, there's my favorite move. Funny enough, one of the interviewers I talked to this week turned out to be a gamer. Uh, we spent a couple of minutes before the interview talking about what we were playing and looking forward to. Hell yeah. I've been chatting up. Like, I haven't met anyone that's like... In all my bar crawling that I've been doing lately, I haven't met a lot of gamers yet. I've met a few. But it's fairly mainstream taste, which, you know what? Good. That's great. Makes it really easy to kind of chat it up. Um, but I don't know. Talking about games, talking about the games we play, it's really fun. It's also really fun because I am absolutely the kind of person who's like, oh, you like a thing I don't like. Tell me more about it. What do you like about it? I'd love to know. But I've talked about that pretty often, though. Ah, <laughs> stop this fireball. Big Nerd was excited to talk about something called Baldur's Gay. Some small indie thing, I guess. Never heard of it. Yeah, um, pretty sure. Like, I've heard of it. But, like, that's only because I'm very in the know. There we go. Ow! You bit me! You son of a bitch, you bit me! How about you? Die, monster! You don't belong in the new world! Oh, uh, if you could just... No! Oh, there was a bigger wasp right there. Okay. Well, we were doing better. We just... We just got in a bad spot. It's all good. We'll make it work. One day I'll actually beat Baldur's Gate. Any of them, really. Especially three, that's the one I like, but... Ugh. I just, I just want to be good at that game. And I'm just not. Okay, where, where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where is my large man? There he is. I got a few other, like, mainstream games I've been wanting to actually beat, but I've never gotten around to. Games I don't enjoy playing as much, weirdly. But I still want to get good at, you know? Stuff like Red Dead Redemption 2. Any Fallout. One day I'll even have a copy of Fallout New Vegas that doesn't close out after five minutes of play. That'd be great. I will never know what it's like to truly be a trans woman who plays games because I still haven't gotten anywhere near the end of any quest line in Fallout New Vegas. One of my albatrosses, you know?
Come on, buddy. It's really just this rage mode that we really have to worry about. Ooh, hey. Gagras is helping us out. Go get him. Get his ace. I love these rival battles. You really can just like step back and let them take swings at each other for fun. Get back here. Get back here. There you go. Oh, no. I never do that quickly enough. Oh. Gave him a good whack on the head. Oh, we kept him from running. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, and he's starting to finally go down. His health is not too long for this world. Come on, can we finish at the top of the hour? I'm sure we can. Ow. Hi, Jaggers. Welcome back. I didn't ask for you to be here, but, you know, I appreciate the assistance all the time. Oh, shoot. His tail. His tail got murked. Oh, I love it. And he's tired enough now that we can just take the second to grab our stuff and haul some ass. I have purchased extra sour gushers. As in gushers that are especially sour or a healthy abundance of sour gushers. Inquiring minds wish to know. Oh yeah. Silly things. I have two hobbies that I want to try to pick up. I got a lot on my plate. I don't need to be like learning something new. But it's a website called Voice Actors Club. And I wanna. I wanna try. I I I want to see if I can get anywhere with it, try some projects online, do some volunteer work, get a demo reel together. Because I think I'd be, I think I'm melodramatic enough. I think my theater experience can finally come in game. I don't know how well it would work, but honestly, I'm just excited to try. Come on, bud. You don't need to be alive anymore. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was bad. Yoink. Okay. Oh, no. Staying away. Ah, 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 ah. Stay alive. Stay alive! Oh! Oh, that's a nasty attack. There's also another hobby that I'm going to keep to myself, but it involves taking some glasses. And it's going to be some fun physical labor because I don't do enough to get physically active. And I think... I think it's time. I think it's time to do... A silly little physical activity of fun. I'll be talking with people about it later. I know, I think some people I know take classes in this particular hobby. So I got I got questions asked. I have an opportunity to be social. And it was something I was already interested in. Just. Never thought it would be for me. So, hey. Yeah, I'd like to have a lot on my plate. I'd like to have just enough on my plate to, like, have some good fun, try some new things. 
keep some careers open to me. Because I think it'd be, like, a hell of a lot of fun. There's an OnlyFans joke here. Let's do energy intensive to make. I mean, I'm still not opposed to having one. I'm not planning to take pictures of myself for any reason. But fuck, it's a, it's a fine sight. Let's do it. There we go. Robin finally fulfilling her childhood dream of being a professional BMXer. Funny you should mention that because that was a dream of mine when I was a kid. I read a lot of dirt bike uh, kids books. I don't know why they were so appealing. And I, I watched a lot of BMX stuff on purpose. I got into it because of uh, a game on PlayStation 1 called MotoGP. Which is a really fun game. Um, old racer where you could switch between dirt bikes and sport bikes. Which was like kind of neat. Like you had two completely different brands of racing. I did, al I did also rent that one. Dave Mirror's Freestyle BMX. It was a fun one. And just to kind of get ahead of things, no, I've never played BMX Triple X. That one, that one I was okay with not uh, getting involved with. That one seemed like I was going to have a bad time. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, you were too classy. I just, yeah, you know what? I'll take that. I'll, I will take that. Yeah, I'll tell Lark about it later because I haven't actually mentioned it. It was because of something somebody brought up to me last night. That made me kind of go, oh, right. I did want to do that. Huh. Okay. And suddenly... <laughs> You'll get to know it's fine. Oh, hey, a little Mr. Sleepy. Uh, but you can't really. Okay, here we go. So we're going to poke. We're going to get over here. And we're going to. There we go. One. Two. Excellent! You'll find out soon enough. When it's too late for you to stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me, all right. There we go. Okay. So, I did that just to kind of showcase the fact that Monster Hunter is technically a boring game. <laughs> Sometimes you just fight a monster because you want to fight a monster. Sometimes you just fight a monster because you want their part. And that's it. That's a good time. I love the gameplay loop of Monster Hunter. It is one of the best ways to kill an hour. Easily. I love it a lot. Anyway. So, for now, we're done with Monsters on the World. We'll be back with it on Saturday. I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, I've been Robin and Jack with our team. We'll continue to be so for the foreseeable future. For those live, we will be back with the start of Resident Evil 4 Remake's Separate Ways. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And for those of you checking out the VOD or just hanging around for Monster Hunter, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, if you would like to support the channel, which I would super love these days, because I want to grow the channel. I want to get some more subscribers, some more regulars. I want to 
I want to justify more days of streaming. Um, then, like, follow uh, and subscribe on Twitch where you get exclusive emotes, click the notification bell, know when to go live, and repeat the process for YouTube where you can subscribe uh, and click notification bell to know when a new video is up. It's good stuff. Anyway, thank you all for coming once again. One last time. Bye.